Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question from entrance examinations, 3 to the A plus 2 to the A equal to 35. And we need to find our A. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in just a few minutes. So it will be really interesting. Just trust me, this is a very tricky question. So how can I solve this question? Maybe a lot of students may be saying, okay, mister, I can easily solve it by inspection in a few seconds. But you know, I'm interested in the solution. So I'm going to show you how can you solve it? How can you write a correct, a correct solution? To this question. So first of all, here's a few really important tricks. The first trick looks like that. First of all, we're gonna write instead of this 3 to the a, let's write the thing 3 to the a to the power 1. Okay, it changed nothing for us, it changed nothing, but it helps us a lot in the future. So the next thing plus, instead of this 2 to the a, let's write 2 to the a to the power 1. It also changed nothing, but it helps us a lot. Equal to equal to 35. So as you can see, I just read this 3 to the a to the power 1 and 2 to the a to the power 1. It changed nothing, because the first power, we just write the same expression as in the beginning. Right now, instead of this 1, just look at it, we're gonna write 3 over 3. It also changed nothing, because 3 over 3, this is the same 1. Equal to, right here, we have 3 to the power a raised to the power 3 over 3, yeah, plus 2 to the a to the power 3 over 3 yeah equal to equal to 35 and a lot of students me a lot of students ask me why i do this thing why i read this like that and right now once more one more tricky line let's do this so instead of this 3 over 3 let's write one third one third times 3 okay so instead of this 3 third let's write one third times 3 so let's let's split it okay as a result we have 3 to the power a raised to the power one third times three one third times three plus two to the power a to the power one third one third times three it changed nothing if you look closely at this line we can easily one third times three equal to one so basically it changed nothing and right now the trickiest move i'm going to this move step by step it is the really important thing in terms of mass this thing is called rule of interchange so when we have a to the power m raised to the power n, we can write it as a to the power m times n. So right now, let's write this one third in our expression. So we, let's multiply this one third by this a. We can easily do this according this according to this rule. So as a result, what do we have? 3 to the power a over 3, because we're going to multiply it by one third to the power 3, plus 2 to the power a over 3, raised to the power 3, and equal to equal to 35 equal to 35. And right now, I hope you understand why I get it. We have right here, we have the sum of two cubes, which is extremely important. So we can easily factor it, okay? We can easily write it with the factor. But for, but for better understanding, let's write a substitution. So right here, we have, we have let, let's do this. So let uh, 3 to the power a over 3, let's write it as, for example, x. And right here, we have 2 to the power a over 3, Let's write, for example, as y. Okay, why I do this tricky move right here? Because I wanted to factor it, because right here we have 35, so somehow we can express this 35 as a product. So for this product, we need to, for example, the sum of two cubes, because right here we have it. We have this sum of two cubes, just look at it. Instead of this one, we have x, so we have x cube, x cube, plus y cube, equal to 35. So after this step, we have a really great expression for us. We have a sum of two cubes. And right now, let's uh, write this formula. According to a school knowledge, this is our formula a cube, a cube plus b cube. For example, with a and b, just look at it. So we have right here a plus b, yeah, a plus b, times a square, a square minus a b, and plus b, b square. Okay, and right now let's apply this formula to our question. We have x and y, so we, we just need to change it. Okay, so we have x plus y. So we have x plus y times x square minus xy minus xy and plus y square equal to 35. Equal to 35. And right now really important, really important thing. First of all, we need to mention that this 35 can be written only in two ways. The first way is uh, the easiest one because we're going to write it as, as 1 times 35 or 35 times 1. Let's do this. So 35 times 1 only in two ways. And the second expression, we can write it as 5 times 7, 5 times 7 or 7, 7 times 5. Okay, so we can easily write it as a product. Because right here we have a product of two parentheses and it's really great to express this 35 as a product of two values. And right now the most important thing, because x plus y, x plus y, is less than, 
is less than x square minus xy and plus y square. So this parentheses on the right side is bigger than the left one. This is extremely important expression. You can easily use this in terms of mass. I don't want to prove it, but just trust me, this is a correct, a correct thing in terms of mass. So we can easily, we can easily reject this expression, 35 times 1, because the first parentheses cannot be bigger than the second one. And of course, 7 times 5, we can easily we can easily cancel it. So as a result, we're interested only in two expressions. So product of two parentheses is equal to 5 times 7, and product of two parentheses is equal to 1, 1 times 1 times 35. So the first case, let's solve it. So first case, first case, let's do this. So as a result, what do we have? x plus y, x plus y, times x square, x square minus xy, and plus y square. Let's start with 1 and 35, equal to 1 times 35. So as I told before, this parentheses according to this method need to be equal to 1, and this one need to be equal to 35. So as a result, what do we have? We have x plus y, x plus y equal to 1, okay? And this parentheses is x square minus xy plus y square need to be equal to, to 35, to 35. Okay, and what are we gonna do next? Right now, let's uh, right here. Let's raise these to the. Let's square both sides for better understanding. Let's square both sides. As a result, we have x plus y raised to the second power equal to one square. Okay, as a result, what do we have? X square, x square plus two xy according to formula a plus two xy plus y square y square equal to equal to 1. And right now let's subtract from this expression, let's subtract this one, so minus this one. So we have x square plus 2xy, 2xy plus y square equal to equal to 1. Let's subtract, what do we have right here? We can easily cancel this one, this one, this one, this one. As a result we have minus xy minus 2xy equal to minus 3 minus 3xy equal to 35 minus 1 equal to 34. So from here we have that our x and y, xy, equal to minus 34 over, over 3. And you know this is not a good case because right here we have a product of two natural values. So when we have a natural values it cannot be a fraction or it cannot be a negative value. So we are not interested in this, we reject so this one is rejected, rejected. So we are not interested in this, in this first case. We, I hope you understand. I hope you understand why. Let's solve the second case. The second case is also, is also really great. So we reject this, this case. Let's solve the second one. Let's see what will happen. So the second case, as a result, what do we have? X plus y, x plus y, times x square minus x y plus y square equal to 5 times 7. So the second case, 5 times 5 times 7. Right now, let's do the same tricky thing. Let's do the same algorithm as we did before. So the second case, we have a product. So from here, x plus y equal to 5. So we have x plus y equal to 5. And the second parenthesis is this one, x square minus xy and plus y square equal to equal to 7. Right now let's do the same thing as we did before. Let's raise both sides to the second power. So we have x plus y uh, to the second power equal to 5 square. Okay, and let's raise this. As a result, what do we have? We have x square, x square plus 2xy plus y square equal to 25. And right here, let's subtract from this one, let's subtract this expression, so minus, we have right here x square, x square plus 2xy, 2xy plus y square equal to, equal to 25. So we're going to cancel this x square, this x square, we're going to cancel y square, as a result we have minus xy minus 2xy, we have minus 3xy equal to minus 18, yeah, minus 18. And from here, a product x times y equal to minus 18 over minus 3, and as a result, we have 6. So a extremely important expression for us. So we have right here that our xy equal to equal to 6. And this is a great expression because a product of two naturals can be easy equal to, to 6. Okay, so right now let's solve our final equation. Let's use, for example, x plus y equal to 5 and a product xy equal to 6. So we have x plus y equal to 5 and xy, xy equal to equal to 6. Let's solve it. How can we do this? Of course, let's express, for example, from the first equation, let's express y. So y equal to 5 minus x. 
y minus x and let's plug in it in the second one. So as a result, what do we have x times phi minus x equal to equal to six. Uh, right now, what do we have right here? Uh, we have x five uh, x, yeah, five x. Of course, you can easily do this without this solution because x plus y equal to five and x y equal to six. This is all known uh, case. Okay, you can easily get this without uh, without solving it. But maybe you're interested in a solution. I, I will also solve it. Okay, so five x minus x square equal to six. From here, let's order this a little bit. So as a result, we have minus x square. Let's write it on the first position. Okay, as a result, we have minus x square plus 5x and minus 6 from the right side equal to 0. Let's multiply it by minus 1. So the basic the basic step, this is quadratic equation. This is not the, the thing that we did before. So we have x square minus 5x minus 5x and plus and plus 6. And plus six. How can you solve it? This is a quadratic equation. You can do this on your own. You can easily. This is also up to you. You can solve it with discriminant. I'm going to show you this tricky move right here. I haven't shown it yet, but I want to show you it right now. So minus five x. Let's write as two x plus three x. So as a result, we have x square minus two x plus three x. Okay, let's write it like that. And plus six equal to equal to zero. Okay. Okay. Right now, let's open parentheses. So as a result, we have x square minus two x minus 3x minus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. As a result from here we can easily factor our x. So we have x inside parentheses we have x minus 2. x minus 2 and right here the same thing. So we have minus 3 inside parentheses we have x minus 2. So we can easily factor our uh, factor our question. As a result we have x minus 2 in the first parentheses and in the second parentheses we have mm, minus uh, we have x uh, we have uh, x minus 3 yeah x minus 3 x minus 3 and equal to 0 from here very easy rules because x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x first is equal to 2 yeah and we have right here x second equal to basically 3 we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 so x second is equal to is equal to 3. Here's our two roots and right now don't forget about substitution, okay? But first of all, before substitution, don't forget about uh, y equal to phi minus x. So we have but, but y equal to phi minus x. So from here, x first equal to 2, y first equal to phi minus 2 equal to 3. Yeah, really great. And we have the second one. So we have uh, y second equal to phi minus 3 equal to equal to 2. So we have two pairs of of roots and right now don't forget about uh, don't forget about substitution okay don't forget about it so first of all we need to recall recall that our x is equal to 3 to the power a over 3 don't forget about it we had it in the beginning so 3 to the power a over 3 and our y equal to 2 to the power a over 3 don't forget about it so x equal to 2 to the power a over 3 and y equal to 2 to the power a over 3. Right now let's plug in all, all that we know into this spot. So the first case, let's use for example uh, 2 and 3. The first pair 2 and, and 3. Let's do this. So from here what do we have? We have uh, 3 to the power n over 3 is equal to 2 and y to the... Uh, no, 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 y. We have right here 2 to the power a over 3. 2 to the power a over 3 is equal to 3. From here, what are we going to say? We say that right here, no integer solution because 3 to the power n over 3 cannot be equal to 2. So no integer integer solution. No integer solution in this case. So reject it. Re reject it. So we reject this, this uh, first case. We don't need it. The second case, our last hope, yeah, we have right here our last hope, x uh, second equal to 2, uh, 3, and y second equal to 2. Let's plug in it. So we have 3 to the power a over 3 is equal to 3, and the second equation, 2 to the power a over 3 is equal to is equal to 2. And it looks like we can easily solve it. So from here we can easily write that our a over 3, a over 3, equal to 1 because this is our 1 we can easily write equation with our equation with our powers and right now the same 2 to the power a over 3 equal to 2 we can write it as a over 3 equal to equal to 1 so from here we have a equal to a equal to 3 a equal to 3 and we have the same thing on the on the right side so a equal to 3 
equal to 3 as well. And this is our answer because in the beginning, don't forget about it, we had 3 to the power a, this is our equation, 3 to the power a, plus 2 to the power a, equal to equal to 35 so right now let's check it we solve it a equal to 3 we solve it with all possible uh, with all possible cases so let's prove it so we have proved we have proved 3 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 equal to equal to 35 from here what do we have 27 plus 8 equal to 35 and yeah this is a correct a correct expression i know maybe a lot of students might be saying okay this is a really fast question i can easily get a root in by inspection but you know as you can see a really long solution to be honest step by step we just get closer and closer to our um, to our answer so it's also really great to see a solution because this is a really interesting really interesting question right, right now you can see a graph you can see these points of uh, intersection you can easily see this from geometric perspective which is also which is also really great. So my answer is a equal to 3. You can easily pause the video and look at this solution once more. I really hope you understand it. We have also the first case where we can find the integer solution, uh, which is also really important when you want when you need to solve this question absolutely. For example, on uh, on your on your exam, you need to solve the full question including all the real number roots. So you need to look closely at this first case. You can easily you can easily scroll the video back and you can easily see this uh, solution. Right now we can we are talking about integers, so in terms of integer, a is equal to a is equal to 3. So I really hope you understand it, I really hope you enjoy it, wish you all the best in your life, take care of yourself, also write your comments down into the comment section, write your notes about this question down into the comment section and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself.